A fish-free pond is one of the best features you can install in your garden to benefit wildlife. It's easy to make one and will provide hours of endless fascination, I can assure you. Garden ponds play host to a huge range of aquatic wildlife, much of which is having a tough time of it in the wider countryside. Once established, you can expect all sorts of species to call it home, from charismatic dragonflies to surface skimming water boatmen. In time your pond should also attract amphibians like frogs and toads, which will move into breed from early spring. My pond was only put in last week, but I'm sure it won't be long before the local wildlife discovers it. I've used a simple preformed pond. It only cost about £25 and is a lot easier and more worry-free than flexible pond liner. Choose a site for your pond that gets sunshine for much of the day. Clear the site and then either mark out or eyeball the approximate footprint of your pond. Now dig it out to the correct depth, saving some of the soil to firm the pond into position later on. Once you're done, place your pond into the hole and check its level along all the edges. You may need to dig out or fill in the hole accordingly to get it perfectly level. When you are happy it is, begin filling in around the edges using the soil you saved, firming it in as you go. And now the fun part, filling it with water and planting it. Start by pouring some washed gravel or stones into the bottom of the pond, then fill the pond with water. If you can, use rainwater, but if not, just leave the water for a few days before planting. Plunging sides will make it harder for wildlife to get in and out of the pond, so add a large rock or pebbles to create a shallow, sloping edge for easier access. To plant, begin with a submerged oxygenating plant such as this hornwort. It will help to keep the water clear and provide food, shelter and a place for egg laying. Next comes some floating plants for shade. And finally, a well-behaved marginal plant that emerges from the water to offer an ideal venue for dragonfly nymphs to emerge and transform into adults. If you don't have the space for a full-size pond, remember you can always make a miniature pond from an old bucket or washing up bowl. For more on this, step-by-step -step instructions on making a full-sized pond or for lists of wildlife-friendly pond plants, be sure to visit the website.